The central understanding barrier that we're trying to attack here is the science of recalcitrance to overcome the difficulty of getting access to the sugars in cellulosic biomass to make those available and accessible to be able to get converted into fuels and chemicals. What we have targeted is really three different areas, which we highly call better plants, better microbes, and better combinations and tools. And we've been able to bring together multidisciplinary fundamental scientists from across the spectrum, from plant scientists, microbiologists, genetic engineers, um, analytical chemists, structural scientists, to really be able to study and examine how this looks at from a multiple aspect. So BESC has really taken great advantage of that. So a good example of this is the project on the catalytic upgrading of ethanol into gasoline and jet fuels. Really be able to combine that sense of being able to know what was being made, know the needs of the field, and connect to scientists who even are outside of biotechnology who can then help you develop new technologies and drive that forward. So how do we increase the value of and the use of ethanol in the marketplace? We call that hydrocarbon blend stock. Can we mix with the gasoline or diesel or jet fuel in the right ratios? We can do almost 50-50 with this blend stock. And you'll have gasoline which would be EPA approved and that will have almost 50% of biomass dark fuel compared to today. Vertimas LLC has licensed it and they are planning to take it to full commercialization over a sh short period of time with a pretty good market penetration over four to six years. This creates another pathway for consumption of not only all the excess capacity but beyond, especially if cellulosic ethanol type plants start being commonplace and more successful. So you can create a whole economy and jobs because of this type of pathway which allows you to produce fuel from renewable sources. Feedstocks is a significant input into the production of a biofuel. So it's estimated that about a third of the price of a delivered biofuel might be comprised of the delivered feedstock, the production and the handling and the pre-processing and the delivery of a feedstock. Our assessments of feedstock supplies and prices at the regional level can really help inform uh, policymakers at the local, state, and national level, and, can, and it can also help inform commercialization strategies as they consider what sorts of conversion strategies to deploy in which regions and having a better understanding of the types of feedstocks and the associated prices that would be needed to procure those feedstocks. Within the feedstocks and logistics team here at ORNL, um, we have a history of uh, feedstocks and logistics analysis going back to the Billion Ton Study, which helped inform the Energy Independence and Security Act of 2007. So we have an established track record of, of work in this field and um, resources and capabilities to provide that um, critical input into developing strategies towards commercialization of cellulosic biofuels. Any kind of energy extraction has some impacts and what we're trying to put forward are what we call good management practices so that we'll know how to better manage our resources to protect them as well as getting the best use of them in this sustainable way. A lot of people have talked about sustainability and it's hard to define. So we've taken a science-based approach to come up with that definition, building upon a work a lot of other people have done, and we have defined 12 categories that it pertains to. We have come up with a quantitative measure for each of these indicators and are distributing that information to the bioresearch community as well as growers, farmers, producers, refineries, so that we're all collecting the same kind of information in order to be able to compare progress toward a sustainable bioeconomy. So by bringing all of this information 
to the table, so to speak, and putting out in a way where the information can be understood, we think decision makers will be able to think about the opportunities as well as the cost of bioenergy in a fair and balanced way.